Broadcasting from Nanuki, Kenya. This is the Me and Larry reality video show. LTO Editorial News for November 2nd, 2010. Election Day in America, Super Tuesday. Last time I heard Super Tuesday is when, of course, we was, uh, America elected the first black president in America, Barack Obama. I'll tell you about that on my next segment. But anyway, if there's an election that LTL want to do, it's the election between the two uh, shows which uh, has training, audition for singers, training and audition for singers to be on stage and to be born superstars. Let's say now for me, American Idol, well, let's say in Kenya, American Idol that'd be on TV versus the Tusker Project Frame is in Kenya, their uh, headquarters, Nairobi, Kenya, of course. American Idol, which is the executive producer, is Simon Cowell. It's very, it's an excellent show. The people uh, spotlight, showcase their uh, talent. They sing, they sing the songs that is in their range. If, the, if it's um, an R&B song, they'll sing an R&B song. If it's pop and rock, they'll sing pop and rock. If it's country, they sing country. That means the people who uh, can do country, they will sing the country song, they pick the country song. And then those who pop and rock, they will sing pop and rock. And those who sing R&B, sing R&B. That's how it is. And it's much better. Uh, the judges are fair. And that's how it is. They don't have to worry about dancing. They don't have to worry about what the music producer had to uh, select a song and say, you're going to have to sing it this way, or you'll fail, you can't, or you'll be out of the academy. That's what it is with the Tusker Project fame. And what it is with the Tus Tus Tusker Project fame for in Nairobi, Kenya, they go to the academy. They have to learn how to sing any type of song. They are forced by a music producer by the name of R.K. R.K. looks like he came out of a bar drinking chana, and he just throw music to anybody except for the ones that he thinks and he believes they could do a, a wonderful job and go beyond that. It's a setup, it's a scam, the Tusker project, but I wanna know from the uh, others, I even give you the website of the Tusker project on Citizen TV in Kenya. Compare that to uh, American Idol people, I want to know who is better, American Idol or Tusker Project fame. And then you got this other guy, this choreographer, which is by the name of Edu. He want people to dance and sing, and I mean dance and everything, do a lot of dancing. They overtrain, they get tired, they get worn out, they get thrown out because they be put on probation, and then they get thrown out if uh, they don't do well. So guess what? They at the mercy of the judges. The judges don't look at what's going on. I think there's a scam going on with the Tusker Project fame. And one of my favorite, the girl from Southern Sudan, which is the first time they did auditions out there. And then this is a very important for them. But then 
to do a setup like that, that is wrong. Very wrong. So, you got guys like RK, the music producer, who's on Chana, smoking weed. Hey, dude, must be on the same thing. Drink, drinking Chana, smoking weed, coming from a bar. And uh, the, the real producer, band producer, or whoever, he just is worse. So, what's happening is, Maybe the executive producer, Simon Carl, needs to come down to Kenya, see how it runs, and go ahead and say, this is the worst I have ever seen. He could get with Ian and say, Ian, you could go on and say that word. Pathetic. It is. The Tusker Project is pathetic. LTL saying that. But it's up to you, fans, my viewers. I'll be back with more LTL Editorial News.